Dear students, good evening. Welcome to La Excellence IAS. Let us have the analysis for today's editorial that is November 8, 2022. The first article is the Black Sea Grain Initiative. You know that Ukraine and Russia are at war. It has led to some untoward consequences across the world. Increased food prices, increased energy prices we are seeing everywhere. You also know that Ukraine is the highest producer of wheat, exporter of wheat, maize, rapeseed, sunflower oil to the world. So, the produce of the Ukraine, if it reaches to the global markets, it can keep the food prices in check. So, that's why to continue the exports of Ukraine to the world, a corridor is created and this is called Black Sea Grain Initiative. It is to stop supply chain disruptions coming from Ukraine-Russia war. And it is a humanitarian corridor, maritime humanitarian corridor. That is the point we need to remember. The next article, Economics and Exclusion. You know that yesterday, Supreme Court has upheld economically weaker sections reservations. This is also a vertical reservation. And various people, poor among the SC, ST and OBC, they cannot avail the benefits of this reservation. So that's why this reservation is said to be exclusionary in nature. Remember, caste was the basis for the reservation. Today we are moving towards the class as the basis with economic criteria. If you observe the Supreme Court judgment clearly, EWS reservations, they do not violate the basic structure of the constitution. The 50% criteria is kept in relation to the caste reservations. It can be breached in the case of class reservations. It means that the upper ceiling of reservations is not inflexible. That is what Supreme Court has clearly stated. Then what is the criticism of this judgment? First is, income-based income -based criteria, it has opened up the reservations for everyone. So it means reservations have been seen as a poverty alleviation program. The reservations are supposed to be meant for affirmative action towards historically discriminated population. It shall not be a poverty elimination, alleviation program. Second thing, exclusion of SC, ST, OBCs, especially poor among these sections, is also not considered. And third most important thing is, Tamil Nadu has breached 50% of reservations and it is placed in the ninth schedule of the constitution. With this judgment, the judgment in that particular case is a foregone conclusion and breach of 50% is not inflexible. The judgment and the statement of the Supreme Court can make these reservations above 50% legal and justifiable. And other observations of the Supreme Court regarding reservations, let us observe. Reservations are a means, they are not an end. That is a very important statement. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar also did not see the reservations as permanent. He clearly stated that reservations are temporary and exceptional. And if they get the permanent character, they will worsen the equality, rule of equality. So Ambedkar did not see the reservations as permanent. So the real solution to the reservations is this. We need to fight the problem underlying these reservations. Reservations is just a manifestation to treat a particular problem. The focus has to be on treating this particular problem. That is, providing for social, educational and economic opportunities and arresting the backwardness is critical solution. Next, the age of minimalism in India-Pakistan ties. Let us try to understand. There is no active intervention going on with regard to India-Pakistan ties today. Let us try to understand it this way. The relations have become more tactical. Rather than conflict resolution, we are more looking at conflict management. And then the exchange, high-level exchanges are not happening today. But India was able to establish relations with the military establishment, which it has shied away all the time from the history. Today, we are recognizing military as an important force in the foreign affairs in Pakistan. And also, what are the reasons for this minimalistic interaction between India and Pakistan? The governments are moving towards populism. Any kind of formal, established, stable relations, they do not go in interest of the populism of the rulers. Second is, 
the new delhi has got a new confidence in managing the affairs of kashmir so it can defend the kashmir without engagement with pakistan added to that the geopolitical challenges have preoccupied these countries and the talks with pakistan for india and talks with india for pakistan are non conclusive let us take pakistan is today occupied with afghanistan challenge and india is occupied with the china challenge so the new geopolitical challenges also kept them at uh, engaged with at certain other level and finally there is no political will today these are the points why the interaction between india pakistan has become minimal next is the frontliners of the first 1000 day window of life so what is this first 1000 day window of life 80% of the neonates brain develops in this first 1000 days first 5 years is the critical period in the nurturing and maturity of vital organs especially the brain so nutrition plays a very critical over here in this context to fight malnutrition we need to focus on certain things so adolescent nutrition and then prenatal nutrition preconception nutrition everything has to be taken into consideration normally nutrition of pregnant women is taken into consideration adolescent nutrition is not been given due importance in india let us take midday meal program etc they take care of early nutrition but for adolescent nutrition until she becomes the mother was not given due primacy which need to be given now second is if the fathers are involved during the time of pregnancy that is partner is involved the number of antenatal visits of the mother to the hospital increases by 1.5 times so both the parents have to be participants in handling the pregnancy third thing is awareness generation is also very critical so if you take portion pakwada in U- up the local leadership and awareness generation among the pregnant women and mothers it has led to regular health checkups and improved levels of health care in the society as a whole so in the health care awareness generation is very critical next is india's g20 presidency and food security so we know food security is a topic in our gs paper too under the poverty and hunger in this topic you need to understand a declaration which is called matera declaration what this matera declaration says is international trade related to food shall always be kept open irrespective of what crisis world is going through the food trade has to be kept open because people are dependent livelihoods are dependent on it and then value chains diversified value chains have to be strengthened so the supply chains have to be strengthened so that fresh nutritious food reaches to the doors of every person so global regional local chains have to be strengthened and then promotion of science based holistic one health approach these three are critical factors with regard to matera declaration so health has to be seen as a well being rather than just as a dis- rather than as a disease control so a holistic approach towards he- health has to be taken into consideration the food security shall be towards nutritional balance and also disease prevention and ensuring the well being and proper growth of the individuals this concept is called as one health approach and what are the india's concerns which are reflected at the matera declaration we wanted to protect local food cultures and we don't want certain western ideas on food to dominate on indian local food cultures and then small and medium farmers have to be protected with regard to the trade and incomes finally agri diversity of a country has to be protected so these are also have reflected with regard to matera declaration and then un food system summit there are five identified action tracks over here it is to ensure access to safe and nutritious food for all and sustainable consumption patterns have to be there excessive consumption excessive food wastage all this have to be avoided and then positive production has to be boosted and then equitable livelihoods has to be promoted and finally resilience has to be created among the humans to shocks and vulnerabilities these are the five systems some action tracks which have been identified so whenever food security topic comes up you need to talk about matera declaration 
And finally, India Inc. needs demand revival to boost investments. Few days back, if you remember, Nirmala Sitharaman, our finance minister, has clearly stated that corporates have to boost the investments. The problem is not the lack of profits for the corporates, but lack of consumer demand. Why the consumer demand is low? It has weakened due to poor industrial performance and unemployment even before COVID-19. And COVID-19 has worsened it. So, the manufacturing sector's weak production and unemployment is the reason for poor consumer demand today in India. So, the consumer demand has to be addressed by the government. Then automatically investments will flow into the economy. This is the essence of this article. Thank you very much. Have a great day.